Last week, the inevitable happened. We all knew it was a powder keg waiting to be ignited by a spark because we allow thousands of these encounters every day at major intersections across the city. Monday, the Rue Vignaraja unveiled his plan to address squeegee workers. He says he'd start with connecting the workers to services, and then his team would turn to the law books. The thing that is missing from every one of these plans and proposals, every strategy and effort in the last few decades, is a willingness to enforce the law. We believe that this program should take place, we should hopefully have this under control within the first 60 days. We're working collaboratively together. There are no gimmicks. Meantime, candidate Ivan Bates says he can take care of the challenge in 60 days. Our plan is about leadership working together collaboratively. First and foremost, we will repeal the non-prosecution policies of Ms. Mosby. That will allow the police to do their job, to be able to be police. His plan starts with a warning and also turns to citations. My plan is the only one that brings the mayor's office. This already has a program in place for the, the diversion aspect, but also my office is directing these individuals to community court. It's giving them an opportunity to say, we're not here to lock you up. We're not here to prosecute you. We don't even want you to have a criminal record, but we have to make a choice to be held accountable. Candidates say they're open to additional ideas to get squeegee workers off the streets. Downtown, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL TV 11 News. Marilyn Mosby was not available for comment on the topic today. We hope to hear her plan later this week.